Hello and welcome to Let's Play Fable The Lost Chapters with your host as always, Madrybred. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this will be a near 100% run. I'm going to be doing about as close to 100% as you can on one single playthrough. So I will be getting everything, like all the silver keys. I'll try and show you guys where all of them are and show you guys all the cool loot and easter eggs and stuff. I'm not going to be using any exploits in the game because I think that's just kind of unfair. Anytime there's a long, boring part like me just walking to a quest but nothing happens on the way, I'll be cutting that out so I don't waste your time. Uh, I'll be quiet during all of the cutscenes so you guys can hear the plot. I'll also be doing alternate videos where I do a loud reading of all the flavor text in the game, in case you guys are interested in hearing a reading of the books within the game itself, because they are quite well written, I find. And lastly, all the character building, whenever I'm actually using the experience I've gained from, say, a bit of leveling off-screen, or fighting bandits in the woods, or even just from the fighting within the quests that you see yourselves, every time I go to the character builder, I'm going to be showing that on screen. So you guys are going to be able to see the, the progression and growth of our character together. Let's get this game started. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard and other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield Gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. I'd just like to point out that the Guildmaster's voice actor is amazing. Alright, so for those of you who aren't familiar with the Fable series, uh, well, I'm only really familiar with the first one, to be honest. I, the other two I didn't like. But, uh, it's an action RPG. Very good one at that. I've lost Rosie! I left her, and I can't remember where! With pretty good voice acting to boot. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her! Please help! She's a lovely little furry bear, with a blue patch on her back. Alright, so our first goal is of course just to uh, get a gift for just our like little his sister. Just can't keep still. Or is it our big sister? I don't remember. Also, the dialogue volume is way too loud. I forgot the volume in this game is kind of ridiculously loud. How- look how far I have this stuff turned down. All right, now I remember where all the good deeds are, so I'll Honestly, show you all of them. What? Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. Oh, and the bloom effects in this game are crazy. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? I can do, but first, I'm going to go over here. Oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Yes, and only because you spelled favor right. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. I think this is a good time to point out how my character has ridiculously big hands. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. 
Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on! Now, if you're anything stuff. like me, you probably want to punch the crap out of this just kid right now. Like but I'm not going to, because that would be a mean thing to do. So also, if you're wondering why the UI seems a little small, maybe, uh, I am playing this game in a resolution that the game probably was not intended for. Monitors were a lot smaller back when this came out. So the UI is a little off in the corners. You might want to watch full screen. Any second now. Have your stupid good deed then. Any second. Here we go. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've he's, done me a big he's favor. He's just frozen. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Performed a good deed. Remember, every good deed gets you one piece of gold with your father. You only need three, but there are four good deeds you can do. So let's go on to the next one over here. And if I look like I'm a little farther down on the screen, it's because uh, your character does grow later. Town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Man, the lip flaps in this game are bad. Uh, I should point out that you can also get the money through doing bad deeds. This is the game's way of teaching you the karma system. Man, I beat him up. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. I don't know why you've got Rosie, kid, but okay. So that's another good deed. Beating the ever-loving crap out of that other kid. Let's go return this teddy bear to its owner. The jittering owner. <sighs> you found Rosie! Thank you so much! Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. I'm gonna warn you guys that this game has a lot of tutorial stuff, and I want to get all the tutorial stuff over and done with in the first two episodes, so the first two episodes are going to be very long, but I'll try and cut out, cut out all the filler if there is any. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? Man, you've got a shiny head. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Uh, how about no? Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. No, I'm going to go immediately tell her. Because I'm not an ass. Also, a little pro tip, guys. Um, normally block slash dodge roll is the middle mouse button. Rekey it to V, because your thumb is always going to be on the space bar anyways. It's a lot more convenient for combat. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Can do. You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Alright. Now you can watch the argument if you want. I guess I will. Trade goods! Pig! Many lovely things! Oh, if only old kids was like him. Oh god, I love that voice actor. Yo, filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your stumpy, you've got another thing coming! We weren't doing anything, honest. Who is she anyway? Some tart from the village? <laughs> Younger than me, is she? Please, my dear, I can explain everything. Yo, filthy swine! This is I amazing. Them right off. Uh, looks like it's looping. Oh, that's great. 
All right, let's go back to our father. We did one more good deed than we had to, and look at that horrible clipping on his glow. Oh, and you know, this game does not run all that great with Windows 7. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? You have a massive belt buckle. Right, let's go speak with the trader. He'll have the gift. And he's just down this hill at the tavern. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. You know, I didn't notice till now, but he uses a lot of W's. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. A wafer? Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. We? I never noticed that. Yes, sir, he lists yours. Wish just your a little. Sister a happy birthday from me now. Won't no, it's, you? it's not quite a lisp, but I don't know. Something's wrong. He's got some kind of speech impediment. Wonder if that's just really good voice acting or a really unfortunate voice actor. Right, so our sister is over by the town gate. Uh, fun fact, this is the only time you can go in this uh, field in the entire game. And there's nothing here. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. The dream you didn't Come on, remember. Let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. I shouldn't interrupt the cutscenes, but you can search this uh, scarecrow, but you don't find anything in it. Game progresses when you go to leave the field. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. <laughs> Go on. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior. He fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. All right, your goal right now is to get back to your house. There's no actual danger here, and there's only one path you can take as the rest are blocked off by burning bodies. So I'll just go ahead and take that path. And there's your father. Now if you inch forwards a little bit, I believe you can target him before you trigger the cutscene. Brom. Weird that you can target him. Ha 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 ha! 
We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. No, oh, thanks. Uh, character, follow him. Follow him, thank you. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> I, I give this game a lot of praise for his voice acting, but that little bit there wasn't so good. Oh my god, it's the fastest rising sun ever! It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Whisper, I think class is off of the day. Have you looked outside? It's the apocalypse. The Earth is flinging around the sun at Mach 4. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! <sighs> I don't like Whisper. But I guess we'll go ahead, go to the Guildmaster... But we're not going to do the training until the next episode, because we're in store for probably 40 minutes of tutorial. It's not bad, and you do learn important things about the plot, but uh, I think I'll break that up for a separate episode. If you guys aren't interested, you might want to skip the next one, because it's just going to be a lot of explaining. Oh, might as well collect these cooking apples. I believe these are the only cooking a apples in the game. So let's just click them beforehand. If you notice my guy do a weird little jitter thing, that only seems to happen on Windows 7, so... I'm not sure what that's all about. But there's the Guildmaster over there. So, on the next thrilling episode... Oh my god, Hero View does not work very well when you're a kid. On the next thrilling episode, we're going to be doing a bunch of tutorials. I apologize in advance. Until next time, have a nice day.